I'm now going to demonstrate uh, giving a modified partial bed bath. Uh, for this skill, you're going to need a clean gown. You're gonna need a towel for drying and to go under the arm and to dry the arm. You're gonna need a washcloth to wash the face, a washcloth to wash the arm, and a washcloth to rinse the arm. I like to stack my linen in the order in which I'm going to need it. So the gown is for the end when you put, when you put it back on. The first washcloth will be for the face, that's step one. You'll need to dry the face. Then you'll need washcloths for washing and rinsing the arms. You'll also need gloves. You'll need a basin of water. Only about an inch of warm water is all you need for this skill. And you'll need soap and a linen hamper. So I'm gonna start my skill. Hi, Mrs. Smith, my name is Patty. I'm here to be your CNA today. I'm here to give you a bed bath, is that okay? I see your bed is locked and in its lowest position. Your call bell is within reach. I'm gonna pull your curtain closed for privacy and I'm gonna wash my hands. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on gloves. I'm going to remove her dirty gown. Um, you can do this step with or without gloves. I just put gloves on at the start. Now while I remove her gown, I want to make sure that I don't overexpose her, so I want to make sure her chest stays covered. And I'm going to remove her gown while moving her limbs gently and normal, or gently and in a normal fashion. Again, while well, make sure she stays covered, I'm going to remove her gown, rolling it away from me, making sure I don't touch my uniform with it so I don't contaminate myself. I'm going to drop this in the dirty linen. All right, so for washing the face, we do not use soap at all. So I'm going to take a clean washcloth and get it wet. But before I do that, I've tested the water, Mrs. Smith, and it feels comfortable to me. Do you mind testing it, making sure it feels comfortable to you? Yes, it does? Thank you. I'm going to take my washcloth with just water, and I'm going to wash her face. I'm going to fold the washcloth into fourths, so with each motion uh, between eyes, I can use a clean portion of the washcloth. All right, Mrs. Smith. I'm going to wash your eyes from the inner corner to the outer corner. And now I'm going to use a clean part of my washcloth. And I'm going to clean the other eye from inner corner to outer corner. It doesn't matter which eye you wash first. Now I'm going to flip to a new portion of the washcloth and I'm going to wash the rest of the face. Making sure I get the chin, the cheeks, the forehead, and the nose. I'm going to discard this in the soil linen. Now I'm going to dry her face using a gentle patting motion. And this same towel I'm now going to drape under her arm after I expose it. So again, I'm just going to expose her arm, making sure that I don't expose anything else. And let me drape this towel up underneath. Now I'm going to wet another washcloth. And this washcloth, I'm going to apply soap to. And now I'm going to wash her arm, her hand, her fingers, her fingernails, and her armpit. That's known as the axilla. Um, it does not matter in which order you wash those. but because we have to make sure that we get the hand, it's just easy to move upward. So I'm gonna start with the hand and the fingernails and move up toward her armpit while telling her exactly what I'm doing. All right, Mrs. Smith, I'm gonna wash her hand, making sure I wash each finger. Making sure that I clean under each fingernail. So you have to make sure you do each finger individually. Back of her hand. And now I'm going to wash her arm. You can do this in circular motions. You can do this in straight motions. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you get the entire arm washed. And now I'm going to wash her underarm. 
I'm going to discard of my washcloth and the soiled linen. I'm going to get a clean washcloth and now I'm going to rinse her arm, hand, fingers, and underarm. Again, I'm going to start at her hand. So I'm going to rinse her hand, making sure I get each finger. Back of her hand, make sure I get her wrist, under her arm. And all through this procedure, I'm moving her arm and body gently. I'm supporting her limbs. I'm going to discard with my washcloth, this soiled linen. I'm now going to use the towel under her arm to dry her arm. I'm going to dry her armpit. I'm going to dry her arm, dry her hand. And now I'm going to discard with my towel and the soiled linen. And now she needs a new gown. So again, I'm going to make sure that I keep her covered. And I continue to move her uh, limbs in a natural motion. gown in place. I'm going to hold the top, pull the covers out. So I always maintain coverage. She's always got coverage. I'm going to return her covers. Yeah, Mrs. Smith, your bath is all done. Is there anything else I can get for you? Your bed is still locked in its lowest position. Your call bell is within reach. I'm going to go put away my supplies. I'm going to open your curtain. If there's anything else I can get for you, you let me know, okay? I'm gonna take my basin over to the sink. You can pour this water in the sink or the toilet. We always recommend pouring in the toilet because that's never wrong. I'm gonna pour this in the toilet. I'm gonna rinse my basin. Pour my rinse in the toilet. And now I'm gonna dry my basin. Whenever you have a basin, it's important to empty, rinse, and dry before placing in soiled utility. So we're going to put this in the dirty supply area. I'm going to my favorite away. I'm going to remove my gloves, grasping the palm, two fingers under the cup. I'm going to discard those in the trash. I'm going to wash my hands. My task is complete. You'll notice that I did my ending procedures before walking over to the sink. You don't have to do it in that order. Uh, you can do all of your uh, disposing of your water and putting your basin in the dirty supply before you go back and do your ending procedures. Both ways are correct. 